Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you? Happy Thursday. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. I've been shopping all day, y'all. I shopped until I dropped today. It's almost nine o'clock at night. I've been going since probably nine o'clock this morning. I went to Kingston. That's a separate haul and walkthrough. I know I owe you the grand opening haul, y'all. I know. Uh, but Dollar Tree just keeps dropping new things. Um, what else? Did, where else did I go? We went to Raleigh. I Spy came with me. That was an adventure. Um, we haven't been to Raleigh in a while. So I did go to a Dollar Tree in Raleigh. And guys, my phone battery was low because I have been out all day and thought I was charging my phone while we were driving to Raleigh. It was hooked up to the charger, but the charger wasn't hooked up to the USB. Both of our phones was dead, and I got two, and he has two. All of the phones was dead. So um, I also went to Pop Shelf in Raleigh, which I'm so glad, guys. That Christmas stuff, unbelievable. Dollar Tree could never. Um, Walmart puts out some nice ornaments, but not at that $1 price point. I found $1 Christmas. It's crazy, so stay tuned for that. Um... So I had video for Pop Shelf, but when we stopped at Zebulon on the way home, and because I kept him in the car for the Rowley Dollar Tree and Pop Shelf, I was in there for a while. I just was going to go straight home, and here he is pointing to the sign for Zebulon. Then when I get off the exit, talks a little junk. After you told me to go, oh, while we're out here, you might as well. Honey, I'm so glad I went in that store, but my phone was dead. Guys, I haven't been to Zebulon in a minute. They had all the new home decor. They had some resin things, which means they had it. They were sold out of the resin part A and B, but they had the mica powder. They had all the new beads that are out, all the new home decor that was out. They had everything, guys. They had everything. I'm going to show you what I got. Unfortunately, I don't buy everything I see, so I can't show you that. Zebulon and Kingston get the same items. Um, I just think Kingston just wasn't finished unpacking the truck because some of the things that Zebulon had out that they didn't. And sometimes they just get different things. Um, but it is a similar store. They're both of a similar size, but Zebulon is much neater and much organized. I don't go to Kingston for the cleanliness and organization. I don't. Um, they try. They do the best that they can, but it's not the cleanest and most organized Dollar Tree, but I just find things that I can't find near me there. That's why I like it. And also, it's a half hour away as opposed to Zebulon's an hour away. But I've been talking let's just get into it but first i want to share with you two of the reefs i'm so happy last night i just was awake so i said let me get started on the reef so i got two made and one in the making and i found something at zebulon that's going to help me that i've been looking for and no other dollar tree has out that's going to help me make two christmas reefs so actually i'll have five reefs to ship to new york and if you are in New York on Long Island, this pop-up shop is going to be at the Gray Barn. If you're familiar, that new um, apartment complex that they built on Route 110, across from the old DMV. They have some office space on the ground floor. So the pop-up shop is going to be there. Unfortunately, I cannot be there, but my wreaths will be if you're interested. This is one of them, and this is... Um, a Dollar Tree Plus clearance wreath that I bought that I made into a spring summer wreath. But all I did was just pick those flowers off and made it into a fall wreath. And here it is. This one I was worried about. I just was worried about it. I added some yellow sunflowers to try to break it up. And I may add, I'm thinking, should I add some white? Is it too much red, orange, and yellow? Um... So I'm still tweaking it a little bit, but here is one of them. And for some reason, I am all into the white pumpkins, not white, the cream colored pumpkins and the off-white sunflowers this year. I don't know why. This was also a wreath in the Dollar Tree Plus section. If you remember, I showed it to you and I said, maybe I should get it for my mom and add to it because it's, it's not enough on it for me. 
but it definitely is like the five below reef that I transformed to my um, patio reef. Um, I said I would get it and hook it up. Well, I went and I looked at them and one was missing the pumpkins and it looked like it was missing a lot. I'll put a picture on the screen. And so I said to the manager, if I want to buy this, will you take something off? She said, of course. So I'm thinking she's going to mark it down to $2.50. She gave it to me for $1.25. So from that, I made this. And I love this. I didn't want to give this up, y'all. I, I don't know if I want to give it up. Yeah, I really don't know if I want to give this up. So I'm really into the off-white pumpkins. I'm into the velvet pumpkins. So these were items that I had left over um, from my fall shopping. Um, my local Dollar Trees are sold out of the white pumpkins. Um, almost all of the fall stuff, guys. So I was so happy that I went on the road today because I found a lot. Okay, so I'm still tweaking the first one. I'm still tweaking. I'm still tweaking it. I just don't know if it's too much of the orange and the yellows and stuff like that. If I want to add some white to it or something else. I don't know, some white sunflowers. I don't know, it's pretty full, but I just don't know. I feel like it's a lot. But, um... Still, I mean, it was a bare reef. I put a picture up and that's what it is now. Now, I was watching, if you go on TikTok and you put the search in, in the search engine, anything you're looking for, it could be Dollar Tree DIYs, Cricut Joy DIYs, anything. Hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of videos come up. So I did put up, you know, full inspiration reefs, Christmas reefs, Dollar Tree pumpkin wreath ideas. I watched a lot of TikTok videos last night and it really got me inspired. I usually don't put a sign in the middle of my reefs, but I've seen, let me just start with what I've seen first and then let me show you where I'm going with it. So while I was in Raleigh, Let me just move some stuff around, guys. While I was in Raleigh, and I don't remember seeing this near me, and I very well could have seen it, but just tuned it out because I wasn't interested. You understand what I mean? I don't remember seeing green pumpkins. I don't remember seeing green pumpkins. So this was, like, interesting. This, I, I'm into the sage green. But when I show you the sign that I found, they tie together so nicely. So I got two bags of this style green pumpkin. And I did see the green velvet pumpkin. I did see the green velvet pumpkin. All right. But I don't remember like these. So I got two of those and one pack of the green velvet. I don't have a dump bag which I should. I usually always have a dump bag. And I got tons of the white because the white is completely sold out. I took three white pumpkins off my tree to put on that reef. Okay, y'all? So I also took some white sunflowers, so I have to put it back. I mean, if you just walked in and you seen my tree, you would think that, oh, it's beautiful, but I took some things off of it because I didn't have them. So I got, I thought I got more, maybe in another, yeah. I got four bags of the white pumpkins. Now they're two different styles. Two have the brown specks on them <clears throat> and these two don't. All right. And these they had, I was thinking about adding acorns to the wreath, most likely I am. Okay, just for some more embellishment. All right. So they had these by me, I just didn't get them. And now I think they're sold out. I don't remember none of my stores getting the berry picks, guys. And you get, this is a good deal. You get quite a few. Usually you don't get that much. But look, look, look. Most of the berries them fall off and they're in the bottom of the bag. Ah, oh, damn it. I wish I would have seen that. But I'll do the best I can, okay? Ridiculous. And I did pick up another 
a pack of the blue velvet pumpkin pumpkins. I'm liking a mix of the different textures. I think it looks really good. So I only got one because my stores are sold out of the velvet pumpkins in every color. Um, so you've seen the green pumpkins, right? Look at the leaves with the green berries. Look at the greenery. And look, this is missing a hole. But I was at the register at that point, and the lines, were, I was not getting off to go back and see. I, and I think these were the last two anyway, so what was I going to do? D dig on the floor to see if I could find where it fell. I, I wasn't going to do that. So, um, so you see my color combinations, right? You've seen the green pumpkins. You see this greenery. You see the brown leaves with the green berries. You see all of that, right? Well, I was walking around the store and I seen this sign, and I have seen this sign before. But after watching those inspiration videos with people adding signs to the wreaths, this is that 18 inch wreath form that I have been intimidated to work with. So can you imagine this? Of course, I'm gonna secure it down better. Right now, I just have it zip tied to the wreath form just for now. But can you imagine this is going to be a very pretty wreath. This might end up being my favorite. The greenery. I was able to find white sunflowers, but I have some um, sunflower picks from Pop Shelf that have green berries in it as well. Okay? Because you see the truck is carrying sunflowers. So I wanted to make sure I had a nice sunflower. And look at the detail of that. This is similar to those white sunflowers that I found at Dollar General. Remember, Dollar General and Pop Shelf are sister companies. Okay, sister stores, they're same ownership. So this is going to be a beautiful wreath, okay? This is gonna be a beautiful wreath. And look at the pumpkins. So I already had something with green berries. I forgot just that quick, oh. See the leaves with the green berries? It almost looks identical, except this one has some white berries in it, which is fine. But look at the green pumpkins, y'all. Mixed in with some white pumpkins, maybe throwing an orange pumpkin. This is going to be a gorgeous wreath. So she's going to get those two full wreaths that I made, and she's going to get this wreath when I finish with it. And um, two Christmas wreaths. So that's five wreaths, okay? Again, I haven't been one with the sign, but when I seen the green pumpkins and then I seen this, this is gonna be a hit. I, I'm telling you, all right? It's gonna be a hit. So I'm excited about that. And these picks at um, Dollar General, well, Pop Shelf, but Dollar General also has $1 picks because I've bought some. Okay, $1. And look at look look at the quality and detail, amazing. All right, so those are my wreaths. You guys, some of you had asked me to share. Let's get into this haul. I have not seen this sign anywhere. I don't even think I've seen it on a haul. There was another one, guys, but I'm really finished with my full decor here, and I really don't want to add. But I had to get this. I love the detail. Do you see? It's like 3D. I love it. I know, I know I said I was not getting the socks if I seen them, but Zebulon had all of the socks, all of them. And I told you guys, if I seen the bubble yum socks, I was getting them. So I got the bubble yum socks for me, but then I seen these, so I got these for I Spy. And again, the other ones that I found, they're just in a clear back plastic bag hanging on the door because I we have to make room for all of these socks. I have so many socks. But again, some could be gifts. These make great co-worker gifts, great Christmas gifts for families, fun, and I think everybody would love them. Everybody can use socks, so. All right. Oh, something else I seen. The gourds in the green. And the pumpkins don't have stems, so I have these pumpkins that I bought that I'm not a fan of from Dollar Tree. I'll give you one example. I'm not really a fan. I just took these off, twist this off, and stuck them in there. So I will be doing the same. Okay, I'll be taking the stems from them, 
putting them on them. That's going to go well. When I seen the green, I just seen the green. So, the off-white sunflowers sold out by me. The leaf picks I showed you. I think I got two of these. I showed you these already. And for people to say when these seasons change, oh, it's too soon. It's too soon for fall. It's too soon. So this stuff is gone. So here it is, what, September 21st? So let's say you said to yourself, oh, in October, I'm going to go and get some fall decorations. Not happening. You're not getting fall. So, you know, get it now or forget it. I love these. These are perfect for the wreaths. Okay, so I just picked them up because, again, my pickings near me is very, very slim. Now, this is why I'm so glad I Spy said, do you want to stop at Zebulon? Because I have been looking for this. Dollar Trees have put out Christmas stuff, but I haven't seen any wreath forms. And I said, oh, my God, I just want the candy cane wreath form. Before I left New York, the last two years I was in New York, I did a craft and sip with my female friends. Um, well, my girlfriends. I, I, don't, I don't have male friends, so I don't know why I specified a gender, a gender, but it was so fun. The first year I cooked, um, I did a seafood boil, cocktails, and we made the candy cane wreath. It was so much fun. Um, it was really nice. And the next year, we did one of the wood crafts, which I really didn't like. Um, we did the gingerbread house, but still, it was still fun. And I cooked a tradition. I cooked a lot of different food. I had oxtails. I had a lot of different food um, and drinks. And you laugh and you fun and you craft. It was really fun. And now, then the third year, I was down here. And I was really sad the first year. Um, it was really fun. Craft parties are fun. So I was happy to find this wreath form. I did buy four. Because you just never know with Dollar Tree. This could be left over from last year. Because Dollar Tree has had these for a while. This, But these are the bigger ones. They also came out with smaller ones. These are, I believe, the 18-inch ones. And they did have 14-inch ones. So these are the big ones. But um, you just never know. So just to be safe, I'm going to make two to ship for the um, pop-up shop. And then I'll have two wreath forms here, you know, maybe for another time, okay? Um, I'd rather have them than to be in the situation I was in, not knowing if I was going to find them, whatever. Surprisingly, in the cosmetic section, just when I was about to say to myself, no name brand finds, they had the, um, I believe this is by Rimmel. It's like a, uh, it's a Rosetta liquid and matte lippy i'm wearing the pink one that i found from zebulon a long time ago now this is red there is another one that's like this orangey color this is not it this may look like that on camera but this is a red so because i like this one i know i like this one so i picked it up they had the hydrocolloid band-aids that i was looking for for but I believe this is the brand of Band-Aids that was trash from Dollar Tree. They had no, they didn't stick. But I wasn't sure because you have Care Pack and then you have Care US. So I wasn't sure. So I did pick them up. Only one box. I'm pretty sure these will eventually make it near me. But I just picked up one. And then they have the silicone scar sheets. Self-adhesive. Improves the appearance of existing scars. Helps prevent formation of scars on newly healed wounds. Reusable and washable. You get four in a pack, guys. I just got it. All right. And they finally, 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 I found the cleansing eyelid wipes. You get 15. Um, Non-irritating, no rinse formula, moisturizes and soothes as it cleans, removes contaminants. Now... Okay, this could be for a first aid kit, but I got it for me because sometimes, guys, I could be riding around and I'm just tired of these damn lashes and I take them off and you still have residue of glue or something like that. So 
that's why I got these, but I guess you can keep this in your first aid kit. That's what it's for. Um, let's see how the packs look. This is what the packs look like. Okay, so that's personally why I got them. I got two boxes of these, and I'm hoping eventually these will also, especially if I like them, make it near me. If I don't like them, then I don't care. By the register, they had these bling purses, and I got this for my car. You know, sometimes you have loose change and you want to keep quarters just in case you need a shopping cart. I did haul those shopping cart things from Timo, and I got to find out where they are, guys. I never tried to see if they work. I only need them when I go to Aldi's or whatever, but still, you might need loose change. So I was going to keep this in um, my car, like in the door. Just I don't want money in my old car. I would dump the change in my cup holders. I don't want to do that. I'm trying to keep it clean and keep it the way it is, okay? So, yeah, that's why I bought this. New candles, guys. I found these in Raleigh, and you'll see that on the walkthrough. I just need to get this stuff hauled so I can put it away. This actually smells pretty good. First of all, I love the shape of them. Okay, but I have been fooled. I have been fooled by Dollar Tree candles, y'all. And it says Candle Bougie. If this is Bougie perfume, just throw it out the window. They have a good sm smell on throw on cold. When you light it, you don't smell nothing. It's like, where did the scent go? But this actually smells really good. And the packaging is really cute. It's a scented candle and it's raspberry. Enjoy all the warm fragrance. Now, I don't expect it to th give a throw for this size space, but my glam area, a bathroom, you understand? A, a small space. My glam area is small. A bathroom, you would expect something. Ciao, please. So they had home decor. Almost all of the new home decor you see circulating around, they had. So I got the one that says live. I don't know if there's one that says love, but they have one that says home. Now, I flipped through them, and I only seen live. Now, somebody could have bought all the love. So, I liked the black and white. You also can DIY this. I'm pretty sure you could paint over this and write something else there. You don't have to keep it with the live because it didn't make sense. Live, love, home. And I didn't get the home because it was brown, and I liked the black and white. I told you guys I'm into the black and white. I am. I don't know why, but I am. These vases are absolutely beautiful. My Daily Dollar Tree has them, and they have had them, okay, since the truck on Friday, in a box. And I broke two, I popped off two, that's why this nail, my middle finger, I don't want to give you the middle finger, was gray, okay? That's how I had it, and then had the two accent nails on the side, but... Breaking into this box, I broke the nail. And if you guys seen the short, I posted these flippable kitchen signs. I took that out the box. Don't judge me. Don't act like y'all don't go through boxes. And those new picture frames, I took them out the box. But I, I, I did it neatly. I don't do it disrespectfully or anything like that. And I don't mind putting some stuff out. You know what I mean? I put some on the shelf so somebody else could buy them as well. But I didn't want to do that for these. These are absolutely beautiful. There's one more. They have a clear one. And you can spray paint them. I have spray painted many a Dollar Tree vase. And they look absolutely gorgeous. These would look great. I do love the burnt orange for fall. Maybe not with any of these arrangements. But I'm just saying. I just happen to have flowers here. This is not how I would do it. But I'm just saying. But you know. I wouldn't even put sunflowers in this. But for harvest. This is nice. And then this you could use all year round if you wanted to. It's like a translucent. You could call it gray. You can call it a translucent black or whatever. I would lean towards gray. But they're absolutely gorgeous, okay? I wish they were a little bit bigger, but here they are. These are perfect for the bathroom on top of the toilet. I always like, you know, small vase on top of my toilet just to be fancy. I love them. So I did get those. I found these. And if you've been in the Dollar Tree YouTube videos, you've seen these. I don't want to damage it. But these are, are two-pack. Okay, a two-pack of home decor signs. So one is a decorated box, 
okay? And look at the silver accents. And this one says, bless our home with love and laughter. And you layer them. How beautiful is that? They did have one more. Why didn't you get it? Why, Erica? I don't know. It was another one there, and I'm sure you've seen it around. I did get walkthrough video from Raleigh, so I will post that in another video, but I absolutely love this. If you want to store them, I love it. So I did get that. I did find Friedman, surprisingly, and this actually was in Raleigh, not in Zebulon. Didn't th expect to see this again, but they had a few on the shelf, so I grabbed two. In Zebulon, again, I originally found this in Kingston, but I'm starting to collect things for my Instagram 70K giveaway. Um, the last giveaway I did for Instagram was for my 60K, and that was the summer party in the box. If you've been rocking with me, you know about that. Well, this is for 70K. I be telling y'all what I'm doing for them. I don't even tell them. Um, so, yeah. So, this artwork... I can't wait to hang. I have to get my life together so I could hang all this beautiful wool art that I found and have accumulated. So it's this purse. And it'll be, they'll get this purse if I, I think I found this purse. I know I definitely found this purse. And look at this diva with the jewelry. So a lot of people on Instagram really, really love these items when I showed them, they were going crazy for it. So this is going to go in the 70K giveaway for Instagram. Right now, I'm almost at 68K. So it's time for me to start accumulating. This is so freaking cute. And when I seen this on a haul, I wanted to find it. This is a great Christmas gift, guys. This is a great stocking stuffer. This does not scream Dollar Tree at all, to be honest with you. Look at the horse. Play set. I seen two different ones. And look, you get um tools to clean up their stable. You get something with fake hay. Now they know they could have did better than I'm gonna shut up, Erica. Be grateful. But um, I guess that's what the horse eats. You got a comb to comb its hair. Just the detail for a dollar twenty-five. And this one comes with something different. I think I like the accessories for this one better i mean if you wanted to to be honest with you dollar tree has those mini hay bales right now for the holidays if you wanted to and i think that's what i would do because i'm extra i am presentation is a big thing for me you could break off a couple of pieces of that hay and put it in here i don't know if you could hot glue it down or whatever but just you know you could do that if you wanted to or Keep the paper, hey, however you want to do it. But these are super cute. Perfect for donation. That's why I got these. I absolutely love them. Super cute. Be on the lookout. Okay? Random, I needed something like this. And this is not a Dollar Tree product. This is from Starplast. Smart sized items. Fits anything, everywhere. Flexible for drawer organization. Unbreakable, BPA-free materials easy to wash and clean so I picked up two of these well not two one it comes with two and they're flexible Dollar Tree's had something similar but I don't remember seeing this brand okay so I did grab that and I think this is everything in that haul guys let me know what you think about the reefs again the event is October 7th it's a pop-up shop at Gray Barn um, in Amityville on Route 110. And my aunt, um, she invited me to participate. Unfortunately, I cannot be there. Um, that's my weekend to work. And we'll just be coming back from Florida. So she told me to make the reefs and send them to her. She wasn't taking no for an answer. She never does. It could be, well, I'm having surgery. Well, when you get out of recovery, maybe you could just make two. I mean, she's a, you know, she's. She she knows how to get what she wants, okay? And uh, I'm not mad at her about it. So um, 
I'm happy that she asked me. I've never sold any of my wreaths or any of my crafts before. So this is going to be a new experience and we'll see how it goes. So thanks for rocking with your girl. This is a pop-up haul. I know I owe you the stuff from the grand opener, but that stuff, you know, I, it's, it's stuff, but it ain't, you know, y'all can wait for it. But thanks for rocking with your girl. If you're new, subscribe. I'd love to have you. For my returning subscribers, thanks for coming back. I will see you guys in the next video.